It's the political dead duck, August the 9th, 2009. Uh, this video goes at San Antonio. We are a change uh, who put up Obama posters and had some citizens that took it upon themselves to take the posters down. So what you ended up with was a one side of free speech. So it can only be free speech uh, if it agrees with their thoughts. That's the way they think. I mean, it goes to show how compartmentalized people are. They don't put up an argument. They don't put up a fight. They don't. They they are uh, blind, mousing tongue followers. You know, they they just don't care. Their job is to defend who they think, uh, and, and I mean. They, in order to do that, you must look, that person looks at Obama as an idol, you know. This is like the Muslims, where if you print pictures of their God, then that's so much blasphemy. That's that's absolutely hideous, and then you, you're an infidel. You should be killed for that. You totally crossed all lines, you know. Uh, so there's no freedom of speech, obviously, in those people's minds. There's only speech that coincides with their beliefs, and it better be their beliefs. And that's much what you're seeing with the citizens that are not aware of how Obama is actually the closer. Ob Obama is the closer for the New World Order. He's setting the same policies as uh, Bush and the other uh, puppeteer uh, presidents. Uh, and all he does is he puts uh, Billenbergers and key uh, people from military, um, military, you know, uh, lobby groups and air pack lobby groups and he takes these very powerful corporations that are uh, controlled by the steering committee the Billenberg group and puts them in a key position and I mean that's the biggest threat they're unelected people most people will live their life and not even know these people exist but they're the ones that's actually setting the policy so uh, you know we have to uh, wake people up to the Obama closer because that's all he is. He's he's just a closer. He's he's the guy who will sign away millions of lives with the stroke of a pen. Uh, but it will really be done by the policymakers, and he'll just sign sign the paper. My dad was a uh, president for many years of a big organization. I won't get into details, but he took a secretary job, uh, and we were very close. We worked uh, together for many years, uh, daily, every day on the ocean and uh, one day I finally said to him I said dad I don't understand why you took a demotion he said Dana, you know, um, you know politician uh, is much like business he said the president all he does is shake hands and sign off uh, it's the secretary and people in key positions that set everything up the guy you know the guy who looks like he's running the show is actually the guy for the photo opportunity and the propaganda machine so he said you know I'm able to help communities better by being the secretary because I can set the agendas that way and that's that carries true worldwide so uh, food for thought folks anyway what they done was you know they took down those posters um, and then they they just didn't care. They had no argument. They had no common sense to it. They were just indignant that someone would speak against their idol. And and that's sad, so don't waste your time on them. Move on. There's too many people out there that will, are ready to have an open mind and listen to and see the truth. Uh, appreciate everything you guys done. Best wishes to you and your loved ones. It's the political dead.